Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is April the 2nd, 2019, and I'm going to hand this straight over to Miss Vegas. Okay, well, it is April 2nd, so today we are going to talk about EDAP, AMD, CVM, FUV, and an OTC stock, Cali. So let's get started. So I do want to talk to you guys about uh, EDAP and uh, this company, I have to say, very impressed. I've actually never traded the stock, and um, they actually had their earnings, and very, very impressed with the earnings because of the cash position that they have. And this company is into the medical appliance. Do I not talk about medical appliances all the time now? Like, I don't know what's going on, but like I said to you, this is like a hot, hot sector here. So uh, this company here... Um, they are into very different things, but they're into the prostate cancer and urinary uh, tract stones. You know, this company is not new kid on the block. This company has been in business since 1979, and they have all kinds of technology. Uh, they focus primarily on urological disorders, and they focus on ultrasound and electric shockwave to also have minimally invasive procedures for treatments for people that might have a benign pros uh, prosthetic hyperplasia or people that have localized prostate cancer or urinary tract stones. And let me tell you, stones are not fun. Those are very painful. Um, so anyhow, this company here had very good news. They had their earnings report and I uh, was very pleased to read that they um, had sales increase of 79% year over year they actually ended the year with a strong cash position and this is what i love about it and this stock by the way the company's in france in lyon france and this company has a cash position of 22.3 million dollars and uh, the ceo mark ochowski uh, was very pleased to report this information they also completed the first u.s sale of focal one to the john wayne cancer institute and that is awesome so um, I think this company has strong momentum. I think it's gonna be, we're going to hear more about this company. And uh, I think they're doing extremely, extremely well. And I love when a hair company has this kind of cash. So um, this company today, when I was looking at the chart, uh, alerted this one actually around uh, $4.11. And um, it did have a nice little bit of a little breakout at one point. But I still like it from a continuation. I think it's an earnings winner. And I actually feel that the Bollinger Bands are so tight right now, um, we might see this continuation tomorrow. It did have a high of day of like 4.39. Um, but you know what? Everything's so strong on the stock that there's no reason for this stock to just suddenly just pull back from, you know, out of nowhere. I think this is an earnings winner and we might see a continuation. And Jim, I'd really like to hear your perspective on EDAP, please. Yeah, all the moving averages are in their perspective order. This is the yearly chart right here, and we did break out of that yearly high of 425 with a base of around $4. So this is, we had a real nice V right down here, and these are one of my favorite kind of Vs. At the end of the year, it sold off, and then it bounced right back up within a month, back to its original pivot point area, right around the 282 to 314 area. 293 so I'm gonna pull up the 20-day chart real fast take a look at it so you had a consolidated period of 282 to 314 for 20 days and then we started to break out after hours yesterday we had three good uh, three white soldiers pull up then they kind of pulled down consolidated at the 359 then we had to break out of the 359 this afternoon and she ran on up about four hours she ran up to a high of 439 and pulled back to support at 416 so I'm going to just pull up the one day I see that the 20 day and the 50 are up snuggling up here for another breakout we did have kind of an ascending pattern in the close and we did have that little breakout so um, I'm going to think support level on the stock is going to be no lower than four dollars if it pulls back it pulls back into that 200 SMA and then continue up with the yearly high. And we got to break that 437, 439 area to continue up. If not, it's going to pull back to that four, $4, 416 and bounce on back up. We have a low support of 359. I don't want to see that. 
I just want to see the four, no more. So the next one we're going to talk about is a stock that we talk about quite a bit. It's one of our favorite ones. It's called AMD. Yeah, so you know what? AMD actually had news today, and um, the news was that AMD and HostKey, which is a cloud solution company representing clients in Europe, Russia, and North America, they did announce the release of what they call the AMD Epic, which is a processor-based server across HostKey's infrastructure. And uh, what will happen is this will offer differentiated features, uh, connectivity, memory bandwidth to HostKey customers that are running in a virtualized environment and a high performance computing workload. So that was actually good news. I think they're excited about the relationship they're gonna be having with host key. And this way they'll be able to provide a variety of services to their customers and also expand options for people's processing needs. So I think this will be a really nice relationship with the two companies. And um, this is actually good news for AMD. Now, you know what, AMD had a nice run today. I mean, the stock did open this morning at 2651. It took a, I mean, it it took a long time for it to get to twenty six eighty. I'm very happy to see it break twenty seven dollars and go over that after hours. And from the options perspective, I mean, we actually uh, called an option idea on the stock because I was looking at the chart later in the afternoon and I said, you know what, the stock really wants to go to twenty seven. It was kind of in the like twenty six eighty ish, and we said, you know what, I kind of looked at it. I said, this gonna want this wants to break twenty seven. So I did give an option call for $27 strike, even though it expires on Friday. Um, I did alert that this afternoon, just about around 2.57 p.m. And uh, the option call was going for 43 cents, which is $43 a contract for the $27 strike for this Friday. So we'll see how that turns out tomorrow. Uh, I think we'll definitely be in the money on the contract and hopefully that'll be tomorrow and we can obviously sell them so and take our profits. So. Um, we'll see how that works out tomorrow. And Jim, what are you seeing on the chart? Because uh, it's nice to see AMD back at these levels. I mean, uh, you know, actually just yesterday, uh, the stock was around $24.55 low of the day. So what a 24-hour difference, almost up $3, is just incredible. Yeah, I know the fat cats tried to bring a pullback on this stock. They were going to try to bring it down to around $17, and I think that was just impossible to do. So we've had a five-day run ever since, and let me pull up the five-day, twenty-day chart to show you what I'm talking about right here. See, we had this pull back to right about 24.56. We alerted it in the room. And ever since then, she's took off and she hit Miss Vegas's target today of twenty-seven dollars. But we do have a parallel, I mean, a uh, an upward wedge on it, upward channel, which I did am very impressed with. And then we got to try to raise it up to the top of 28.11. So we did hit a pivot point, or a pretty good little resistance here at the 27 level. And if this continuation looks like it kind of did continue after hours, let me pull up the daily one minute. We did have an upward momentum boost after hours to 27.25. And we've got a little bitty bull right here, or a cup and handle working now, to raise it up to that 27.34 resistance that I have. And I'm going to say, if it pulls back any, It'll probably pull back to this lower level right here, right as we close, went into close at 26.78. So I've got a little channel here between 26.78 and 26.84 for a pullback support. And let me pull up the 20-day one more time to give you, we gave you that 27.34 resistance. And the next one after that is going to be right around 27.55 with the red line of 27.70. And then we have the yearly high, not the yearly high, but this last high of 28.11. And that's going to be AMD. We're always bullish on this. This is one stock you need to look at every day. Watch the SPY. It kind of falls out a little bit. It can pull back a little bit, but it always returns a bounce. And next one we're going to talk about is a car, a little bitty FUV. Oh, I thought we were going to talk about CVM. Oh, we're CVM. Let's talk about CVM. Okay, so CVM, um, and then we'll talk about FUV, but, you know, CVM uh, had some, you know, news the other day. Yesterday, actually, they were up because um, they did announce that their phase three clinical trial evaluating multi-cline um, is actually uh, in a newly diagnosed patients. Uh, they're saying that they're looking to treat cell carcinoma for head and neck. And actually, they were just announcing that this is just going to continue as planned. And so I guess that means the study is going good. So, you know, when you're in a phase three, um, that's actually very good. 
So um, as a result, the stock had some activity today. We've talked about CVM before. Um, it had good volume. I mean, you know, 920,000 and the high of day was 438. And I just want to mention, you know, the stock 52 week high is around 444. So we're getting very close to this making a new 52 week high. So this should be on your watch list. This should be something that you may want to consider swing trading the stock. I actually like it personally for a swing trade as well. And I am in that one. So um, I, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I was very pleased to see, to see the volume on CVM. And I am looking to see that 52 week high be broken and see if we're going to continue. Um, it did have, just so you know, also a new closing high, uh, which is nice to see, <clears throat> excuse me. And it also had a nice pocket pivot today. Um, and the volume was actually a lot higher than it's been in the past uh, few days. So I am pleased to see how the stock is behaving. I am liking the weekly chart very much uh, at this point. And so I'd like to hear what Jim thinks because I'm so far uh, bullish on the stock. All right. Well, CVM, we did, as Miss yeah. Vegas said, we did have a double top. We've watched this. I've watched this for quite a while now. I've, this has been on my watch list. You can tell by all these yellow lines from last year. My new ones for this year are blue. So we hit a high up here right around 435 at a, at a double top area is where I'm going to call it. And maybe, you know, we kind of broke out of that, I would say, because I used the base of the candle wick, candles, and that was right around 431. So we did have a yearly high of 444. I think that's what we got to break is at 444 and bring it to 456. And I think I can see that by pulling up a three-year chart. Yep. So we had a $15 high here three years ago back during during 2016. Then we had 17 here where it kind of hung around a little bit. And then we're raising up and we're getting above that 217 levels. So we are at a, at a one-year high. Let me pull it up one more time. Take one good look at it. We got a low support right around the 393 area. So I'm going to pull up a daily or a five day. They had a beautiful, now, you know, Miss Vegas talks about weekly charts. Look at the week on this baby from 281 all the way up to a double top of 435. We definitely seen an ascending channel rising up, lower highs and higher highs. And if we can break that 439, we're going to bring it on up to that 456 area. And then we got more resistances we can break if we go all the way back to 2016. So this is CVM. Please keep it on your watch list. The volume's okay with it. It's decent volume. We had great volume uh, Monday, and then we had a follow-up today. It did pull back. Had a double pullback. Double bottom right there. Kind of, you know, where it broke out. So it's called a triple bottom at 385. No lower than that, or she's going to fall apart. So we're going to the 418, 435 with a resistance level of 456. And that's going to be CVM. And then this stock, I just love this website on this next one. It's called FUV. Okay. So FUV, you know, fun utility vehicle. And, um, you know, even though that's not the name of their ticker, uh, I mean, that's the name of the ticker, but it's not the name of the company. The company is RC Moto right and uh, you know what i have to say they had an earnings on the stock um the earnings weren't like the best but you know what um they weren't like that bad and you know what they actually have cash on hand so the fact that they have cash on hand the earnings were not terrible at all you know they were maybe i think it was um under you know fifty thousand dollars less in revenue than they had before but you know what the, the vehicles are not so expensive so you know they're not going to be making millions just yet um, but I think they're on the right track and uh, they have like a, a utility green vehicle coming out and I think that's coming out in June. Um, but I do like the weekly chart. I like the fact that they have cash and uh, we've talked about the stock. We've traded the stock. So I do like the channel that FUV is in. Um, you know, if you look at the volume in general, I mean, it wasn't massive at all. Um, over the last three days, it's been okay. But this is a very uncrowded trade. I mean, it's not a trade that everyone's in and, you know, they're all gung-ho about it. They might have been gung-ho about it back on March um, 2021 and 22, where we did see on the 2021-22 over a million shares traded, which is way more. Ten, I mean, it's 10 times the volume what we're seeing now. Um, but you know what? Still uncrowded, still like the channel that it's in. 
Uh, you know, at one time, this was a $7.35 stock. Uh, so you know what, it's got room to eventually move. Uh, but I do like the weekly chart. And so I'm looking for this to have a continuation, even though the earnings wasn't the best. But I do like what they're doing. I like the cash on hand. Um, maybe Jim can give us some support and resistance and where we don't want it to fall below a certain line. So when Jim gives us that information, uh, if you're looking to swing trade this, you know, you want to keep it within the parameters that he's going to talk about. So, Jim, let's hear it on yeah. FUV. FUV has a short, a, a small float of six point five million, which is very attractive to the low float traders out there. Um, I'm looking at different supports. We did hit a five dollar resistance. I'm going to pull up the yearly chart on this baby. We did have a good run on this when we called it out last time. It ran all the way to seven thirty five, and that was during the other runs with Nile and Candy and a few other stocks, K N D I, and. So she pulled back, she created a little bottom off this 50 SMA and bounced right off that 50. I like how these two moving averages are in place, the 20 and the 50 SMA. And every time we touch down here in the last couple of weeks, it's hit that 20 and bounced right up. So that's a good, good idea right there, good going on. So now we're going to pull it up to the 20 day, one hour. We've had a channel of low support at 430. We can see a pivot point area in this channel right around the 467 to 475 so I'm going to call this first support right here at 483 483 and then with a low support right around this 445 to 460 area and I always use my moving averages for a pullback support also so what we've got to break is this 510 area to bring her on up to 528 now this stock pulled back a little bit after hours that's okay with me Give me an opportunity to play, but we did hit that 20 SMA on a daily one minute. And we had a beautiful run on this stock today from 460 all the way up to 520 or 502. Fought with a resistance of right around 501. So if this stock wants to pull back any at all, we're going to see a 475 support. First support right around 483. And then we can continue up and bounce back up. It does pull, sometimes pull about a 10 15 cent knife on us so pay attention to that but please keep this on your watch list this is fuv and this is one website that i do like to see and i'm a poet and i don't know it and the last one we're going to talk about is a penny play otc yeah so let's talk about cali you know cali is an otc stock you know we've talked about these marijuana stocks and um you know cali is a company located in dallas and um, they did unvi unveil today that they are doing ongoing research and development for the cannabis treatment for type 2 diabetes. That is a really, um, I mean, I'd love to see some sort of treatment and, and cure for something like that. So they have ongoing research and development going on. They are targeting four specific health issues. And one is like COPD and type 2 diabetes. And then two additional ones that, by the way, they haven't announced. And they're going to announce later this week. And next week, they're going to have an online presentation with more details on each of the treatment developments that are coming out later this month. So you know what? I actually believe that um, because they're going to announce another PR, which they, they clearly said in this PR, that they're going to have another PR. I think you can definitely can say that Cali could have another movement uh, aside from where it is right now, because every time there's a PR and it's a positive PR, I mean, obviously the market's reacting and they might, you know, start buying more shares because they love the news. So this could be one for sure that you keep on your watch list. And um, the other thing is that in addition to their pharmaceutical developments, they are also making money from their patented cannabis extraction process, which is uh, delivering um, infusion into non-pharmaceutical commercial products. And they did also announce before that um, they have a process already producing 10 milligram CBD formula for puration ink for Pura and also for the sports water drink. And they're also giving the um, announced a commercial product for NOUV, which is another one um, to have also a uh, 100 acre hemp farm. So you know what? I don't think we should take our eyes off Cali. We haven't looked at it in a while. And I think we are back on this one because of more news. And like they said, additional PR is coming again to disclose what is that other product that they're working on 
and I'm looking forward to the actual presentation that they are going to be releasing. So, Jim, over to you on Cali. Yeah, I like how Cali's business plan is all in whack. They're involved with Pura, they're involved with Cali, and then they're involved with that NOUV, I think is the name of that ticker that it's going to be doing the growing for them. So they're all, they're all teamed up together as a good team. And I do like the news that keeps is consistent with this stock, Cali, right now. But I'm in the room calling it out all the time. I called it out um, at 11.15. One of the ladies in the room, Michelle, pointed it out to me again. She keeps me on track with this trade. And today it ran from around 13 when she pointed it out to me, a little under 13, all the way up to 16.4, which is my red line resistance level that needs to break. So we did pull back to 20 SMA right here. Let me pull up the, the uh, 90 day, or let's pull up the 20. And we did have a 20 day high of around 17. See how she likes to run up and pull back. So, you know, but this here consistent run today, I kind of liked it. It kind of consolidated midpoint. And then it had the end of a day run up here on an hour, on an hour's chart, daily hour, all the way up to 16, Oh, what was it? 1604, so 164, something like that. So I'm going to pull up the daily one or pull up the five day real fast. And I think low support on this thing. I don't want to see it go no lower. We had a top right here. We had a top right here. We broke out of that double top up to 16, no lower than this four, 14 cents. Or, I mean, excuse me, 0 0.014 cents. So it's still a cheap stock. You can buy 50,000 shares of it and it won't break the bank. Buy um, 100,000 and you're still within the limit of uh, an OTC penny trade. And I think she will pull back maybe to around the 14 area. If she does, I'm going to be jumping back in it. I like scalping this stock. I like also, me and Vegas played this a while back. We called it, we pulled up the 90 day here. We called it back here right around 2 cents. And this thing ran all the way up to three point almost four cents here and then she had a pullback and we scalped it in between here in this channel and it's been in this channel ever since from one, a little above a penny all the way up to about oh I'd say probably about 13 1 point, 0 point 0.13 with a resistance breakout of around 16 so keep Kelly on watch this is one of my favorite penny stocks and I do think it will go higher eventually in the long run because it's just very just a very well-rounded company and that concludes our aftermarket report i think miss vegas might want to give you some last moment anything you got anything else to say miss vegas well i don't know you sound really far today What's going on but anyways um i do i do want to mention to everyone that um you know what uh I really believe that to grow a small account, it's really important to learn about option trading. Um, I have some really good examples. I just want to share a really quick one. Uh, since we talked about AMD, I did alert yesterday an AMD option call for the strike price of $26.50. And um, those were going for $0.54, cents, which is a $54 investment. I today, that same exact investment, is now going for $136 for the same contract. And that's because we are significantly in the money. So we've actually made over 100% on a $55 investment. So it's really important that as a small account, if you wanna learn about options and you're interested to learn how to grow a small account, please come to our room and come check it out. Uh, it has a free trial for two weeks and you will learn so much in such a short time. And then, you know, if you're doing well, you may decide to join us. If you don't want to join us, that's okay. But I really encourage if you're a new trader and you have a small account, or, or even if you have not, you know, you've traded a lot. I mean, options just honestly, I think it's changing lives. And um, I love how the amount of money to put in is so small and how yet you're, um, you know, you can make so much. And I think, you know, these $54 calls, um option call for amd i mean that is just going to probably go up even more tomorrow because we're we're over 27 dollars now so those calls are going to be worth more than a dollar 36 um each contract and that we only paid 54 cents so i mean yep. this is just great so really 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 focused on helping small accounts i don't need to help people with a large account they don't need they don't need our help because they're doing well we just we are here to help smaller accounts 
So if that's you, come visit. And um, I know people have asked, like, can we do a video on some options? So you know what? I'm going to work with Jim. And I'm going to put something together probably for this month. And I'll do, like, a little video just to explain, like, what I look at. And, again, I'm not an options, like, expert and, um, you know, not the best options trainer. There's so many good ones out there. But I try to keep it simple and I really try to keep it easy so that people that are new can understand and it's easy for you because I don't want to overcomplicate anything because then if I do, it, you just get lost and then you're just like so confused and, you know, trading can be confusing sometimes. So I just try to keep it nice and simple that even um, someone that's in grade six or seven would actually understand. So we try to keep it simple that someone that's in high school, junior high, could understand. So if that's you, you want to understand simplicity, please come visit. On that note, I want to thank you for the listening to the market report and hope, hope I'm not talking so fast tonight. I'm just really excited for the markets and for tomorrow and we'll see what happens and have a great night and we love stocks and we love all the YouTubers. Thank you so much. Have a great one. And the one thing I like about the options too, you get into a better caliber of trades, you get into better tickers, you get to watch better companies. So this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, April the 2nd, 2019. And we love stocks.